Tonight's headlines, Congress can't be stopped in probing the Okta research, says Palace. Philippines unfazed by possible halt in U.S. aid. Coronavirus cases in the country at 1,667,714. Number of contact tracers enough, says the ILG. LPA to bring cloudy skies and scattered rains. PSEI up, peso moves sideways. Good evening. Today is Monday, August 9, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel, and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are your stories for this evening. Malacanang said Monday, Congress cannot be stopped if it decides to investigate the Okta Research Group in aid of legislation. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque made the response if such congressional probe on Okta Research, which reports on the country's COVID-19 situation based on data from the health department, is necessary. Dr. Guido David, an Okta fellow, earlier said he welcomes the probe as it would give them the opportunity to publicly discuss their methodology. methodology. To recall, Marikina representative said part of the congressional inquiry into the Okta Research Group is the utilization of its budget, which it had received from the Bayanihan II law. <laughs> National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr. brushed off the impact of a possible halt in military aid and export of firearms from the United States to the Philippines over human rights issues. Esperon said the Philippines could buy from other sources of weapons like Turkey and Japan. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration is preparing an overhaul of arms export policy to increase the emphasis on human rights, as reported by Reuters in August 4. Several U.S. senators have also urged the Biden administration to address the alleged pattern of human rights violation by the Philippine government under President Rodrigo Duterte. The Department of Health reported 8,900 confirmed coronavirus cases on Monday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 1,667,714. This brought active cases to 78,480 and of the total, 94% are mild, 2.1% are asymptomatic, 1.7% are severe, and 1% the number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 1,560,106 after 7,937 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll now stands at 29,128 following six fatalities recorded. Data from the DUH also showed that 67% of the intensive care unit beds nationwide are in use, while 50% of the mechanical ventilators are occupied. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Fiber is the free and secure way to connect with friends and family anywhere. Send messages and make phone and video calls for free. Download Viber now. Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive.
Force, the Department of the Interior and Local Government said that local government units should monitor the performance of contact tracers as there, as there was now an adequate number of them. The ILG spokesperson and Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya said President Rodrigo Duterte approved the contract renewal of 15,000 contact tracers. Malaya made a statement when asked if the country has ever reached the ideal contact trace ratio of the contact tracer is to 30 to 37 contacts in two days. Around 1.6 billion pesos was approved to extend the contracts of the contact tracers which expired in August to December 2021. State Weather Bureau Pagasa announced that cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will prevail over several provinces in Visayas and Mindanao due to the throw of a low-pressure area. In its 24-hour forecast, Pagasa said the LPA was east of Borongan City, Eastern Samar at 3 p.m. Pagasa advised residents of Visayas, Bicol Region, Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, and Caraga to prepare for possible flash floods during moderate to at times severe rains. Meanwhile, the southwest monsoon will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Cagayan Valley, Numaropa, and the provinces of Ilocos and Apayao. And in business, the main equities index started the week on a high note due in part to a positive jobs report in the U.S. while the peso moved sideways against the U.S. dollar. The Philippine Stock Exchange Index gained 92.66 points or 1.42% to 6,632.57 at the closing bell. The broader all shares was up by 38.45 points or 0.95% to 4,093.87. Kahina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Nilingan said that investors bought up following a U.S. rally bolstered by the stronger-than-expected jobs report. Volume totaled 1.78 billion, amounting to 6.4 billion pesos. Advancers led decliners 115 to 91, while 34 shares were unchanged. Meanwhile, the peso ended the day at 50.385 against the U.S. dollar from 50.4 last Friday. That wraps up the stories tonight. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. The Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its vibrant community, Katribu, to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just visit the sticker store and search for Katribu. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, Department of Tourism and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night and God bless us all. With GLOBE, our steps can lead us to millions of doors opening millions of paths unfolding and millions of reasons to keep going now's the time to be with a network that gets better every day for you Manong Joe po. At Ate Maita. Ngayong Hunyo, bahagyang tumaas ng 8 centavos per kilowatt hour ang overall electricity rates. Ito'y dahil sa dagdag singil sa WSM. Alam nyo ba, pwede kayong i-update ng Meralco sa text or sa email gaya ni Sarah G. 
Sisendan kayo ng advanced updates tulad ng upcoming bill details. Di na kayo kakabaka ba sa paghihintay ng bills? At ano mang mangyari sa bill? Masira, mabasa o mawala? No problem! To get updates, i-update ang inyong contact information sa Facebook Messenger, meralco.com.ph, email, hotline 16211 o Meralco Business Centers. Handa kami makipag-ugnayan sa inyo para makapaghatid ng mas mabuti, mabilis, at pagkinhawang serbisyo. Hanggang sa susunod na Meralco Advisory! Araneta City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Bini Bini pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch, your first home, your first big break, your first date, and even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts.